nobody wins when the family feels. Well, new at 5 o'clock today, at least 51 accused gang members and drug traffickers are in jail tonight. The result of a three federal operations in Pine Bluff and Little Rock. <laughs> I don't respect and tell you all about it, man. I swear it didn't come easy. That's when got a clown from my own. Should've seen mama face. You know he in me. You know he hear me. Oh, God, man. Hey. hey. Shot man. Nice. Hey, you a better? Hell yeah, you ain't letting me up out of man. What? Don't both have me standing at the picture here, man. Let it out, though. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna get the drip like this. <gasps> Ice box drip my wrist. Walk up in the club and I drip on the beat. You know I'm all that flexing more than you making. They on that. Now this is a prime example on how they'll let you go just to hem you up on some more stuff. It's like a bait trap. But honestly, we all have to understand. It's really no such thing as being legal and being in the streets. The streets trump all that. Freddie Glaney the third was arrested by the U.S. Marshals alongside his dad, with more than 60 individuals on a drug bus conducted by the FBI. After an Arkansas police officer had came to his demise after assisting the FBI on being undercover and serving a warrant for two rival gangs in Arkansas, these arrests took place overnight on November 10th, 2022, with more than 27 individuals still on the run. Now, before we get into this one, remember, family, I won't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we're gonna jump right to it. Freddie Glenny the third is a US rapper that signed to the hot QC in Motown Records. <laughs> That was QCP giving Bankroll Freddy a chain in Arkansas during a Lil Baby concert show. Bankroll Freddy would instantly gain national recognition with the song titled Drip Like This featuring Lil Baby and Rest in Peace, Young Dolph, and a song that masked more than 64 million views and counting. Money get the drip like this. <gasps> Ice box drip my wrist. Walk up in the club and I drip on the beat. You know I'm but what made Bankroll Freddy's situation strange, with all the success he was having, he was still posting more money than he would actually make as a rapper. He would post money like a Drake or a Lil Baby, which always is a no-no. Shortly after, trouble would follow Bankroll Freddy, as he would get arrested earlier this year with pounds and also a machine weapon. That case was later turned over to the feds, and that was just a little over six months ago, as the tweets were sent out on April 15, 2022. So this is how that situation went down six months ago. An Arkansas State Police had stopped Bankroll Freddy for a speeding violation at around 6.30 p.m. CDT Thursday on Interstate 55 in Marion, which was about 20 miles west of Memphis, Tennessee. After that traffic stop, the troopers ended up searching Bankroll Freddy's pickup truck, where they recovered the machine firearm and around 21 pounds and 171 pounds of promethazine and also a narcotic found in the syrup. Rapper from Conway was in jail last night, arrested on federal drug and weapons charges. 27-year-old Bankroll Freddy, or Freddy Gladney, was arrested during a traffic stop Thursday in Marion. During a search of his truck, police found a gun, 21 pounds of marijuana, and 171 grams of prescription sedative. Freddy was booked into the Crittenden County Detention Center on state drug and weapons charges and hailed for FBI on equivalent federal charges. Bankroll Freddy would end up getting bail as he would go to social media and talk to other individuals who were still incarcerated and say how happy he was to actually be home on bail. Nice. Hey, you a better? Hell yeah, he let me up out of man. What? Don't both have me standing at the picture here, man. Let it out, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you you going to be straight. Hey, I told you I told you were going to get up out there, mom. Hell yeah, man. But now we know why the FBI had let Bankroll Freddy out. He was part of a bigger operation going down in Arkansas that was a part of two rival gangs that led up to more than 67 people being arrested and over 27 still being on the run. Six months later, on November 9, 2022, Bankroll Freddy would be arrested once again. The rapper would be arrested in Jonesboro, 
charged with gun and drug traffic. According to court documents, bankroll Freddie and his father, Freddie Glaney Jr., was arrested by the U.S. Marshals, a part of a roundup, which netted 45 wanted people. The court document states the rapper and his father conspired with dozens of others to traffic drugs and guns between Arkansas and Texas, California, Arizona, Georgia, Mississippi, Tennessee, and Oklahoma, and faced a combined total of 16 federal charges. In a press release, the Department of Justice said the arrest was made because of three different operations conducted by agencies. Two FBI operations focused two rival gangs in Arkansas, including Everybody Killers Gang, EBK, and the Lodi Murder Mob Gang, a third operation, which was led by the DEA. It began in 2021. Pine Bluff Police Detective Kevin Collins was shot and came to his demise in October 2020 while serving a warrant on an EBK member which allegedly bankroll Freddie is a part of. The DOJ said Collins was assisting federal agents with an investigation into the gains at the time of his demise. Well, new at 5 o'clock today, at least 51 accused gang members and drug traffickers are in jail tonight, the result of a three federal operations in Pine Bluff and Little Rock. Channel 7's Maureen Glisevic joins us live in the studio tonight with uh, what's been taken off the streets and the connection all this has to a Pine Bluff detective. Marie. Detective Kevin Collins was assisting the FBI as part of these operations, but was shot and killed in 2020 while serving an arrest warrant to a gang member. Detective Collins helped the FBI and DEA build a case against two rival gangs, the EBK, or Everybody Killers Gang, and the Lodi Murder Mob. Today, both agencies announced 45 men and women accused gang members and drug traffickers were arrested this morning. Criminal activity spanning from Pine Bluff to Little Rock. At least 80 people have been indicted and face multiple federal charges. Two operations were led by the FBI, which focused on the rival gangs. Investigators say they're responsible for violence throughout central Arkansas. The DEA focused on the drug operations. Their investigation revealed that multiple kilos of meth and hundreds and thousands of fentanyl pills were shipped to Arkansas from California. At least 12 wiretaps were used during these operations. The items seized in total $951,000 in cash, 13.5 pounds of meth, 1.2 kilos of powder fentanyl, 716 fentanyl pills, 288 pounds of marijuana, 18 ounces of cocaine, four ounces of crack cocaine, and dozens of firearms. We all stand united uh, together uh, with our state and local partners. We're all in the business of saving lives. And with the 80 indictments from the Eastern District of Arkansas for drugs, crimes related to drugs, weapons, gang activity. That's exactly what we did today. Another 27 fugitives remain on the streets, but law enforcement agencies say they will not stop until all suspects are in custody. On your side, Maureen Glisovic. A uh, real tribute to the sacrifice of uh, Detective Kevin Collins there, Maureen. Thank you very much. Well, multiple police agencies assisted in these operations, including Little Rock, North Little Rock, Pine Bluff, Benton, Sherwood, and Arkansas State Police. As of now, it's no word if he can get bail and the severity of this case, but I'll make sure I keep you guys updated. But remember, family, if you can survive being from in the streets and able to live a comfortable life by being legal and successful, then, dive, then never go backwards, man. Remember, everyone don't have a choice, family. So I'm going to leave it on that. And with that being said, let me know how y'all feel about this one by talking to me in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, family.